wabunge wenu wote wanashirikiana pamoja na serikali yangu tupeleke mambo ya wananchi tuweke kipao mbele na tupeleke taifa letu la Kenya mbele mimi nataka niwahakikishie tutafanya kazi kwa pamoja kama viongozi sisi wote tutaungana tuondoe ubinafsi tuondoe mambo yale yanatutenganisha tuweke umoja na tuhakikisha kwamba mpango wetu wa kupeleka taifa la Kenya mbele inaendelea leo nimefika hapa kwa sherehe hii ibada maalum ya maombi na ya maombi ya shukurani asante sana maaskofu wetu asante sana viongozi wetu wote wa dini kwa kutupangia eh, tuwe na ibada hii ya muhimu eh, vile viongozi wenzangu wamesema nafasi tulioko nayo sasa ni nafasi ya kuunganisha taifa na kupanga mambo ya kupeleka taifa letu mbele mimi nimeketi hapa nimesikia viongozi wengi wakiongea mzee atoli ameongea speaker ameongea wabunge wameongea furaha yangu ni kwamba sote tunaongea vile tutabadilisha uchumi wa Kenya na vile Kenya itasonga mbele pale nyuma tulikuwa tunaongea sijui BBI sijui rege nani atapata nafasi gani ya kuongoza sijui nani atapata nini leo atuongei yale ya viongozi watapata tunaongea ni vipi mwananchi wa kawaida wa Kenya tubadilishe uchumi naye apate nafuu and that is to me the greatest transformation of our politics that today we are having a conversation in the republic of Kenya not about sharing positions not about politics that are interests of people we are today having a conversation about the economy of the republic of Kenya and how we are going to make it possible for every citizen to be part of the transformation of Kenya mimi nafurahi sana na mimi nataka niwahakikishie that is going to be the conversation that's going to take us forward na ndio sababu hiyo mimi nitakuwa hapa Bungoma kesho mimi nataka niseme pongezi kwa county assembly ya Bungoma nimeenda pale kufungua jengo lao ya muhimu na ya maana zaidi ni kwamba wametengeneza hall kubwa ya wananchi wa Bungoma kupeleka mambo yao ya public participation kwa sababu tunataka bunge letu la kitaifa na la, la county waweze kujua mawazo mafikira na mipango ya wananchi so that we can engage citizens in the management of their affairs nataka niseme pongezi county assembly ya Bungoma nimeenda pale pia kufungua jengo mpya ya hospitali ya Bungoma County kwa sababu tena tulikubaliana ya kwamba mambo ya afya afya inatuletea saa zingine umaskini matibabu inakuwa bei gani watu wanauza shamba watu wanauza ngombe watu wanauza mali yao kushughulikia mambo ya matibabu na ndio tumesema serikali ya Kenya sasa tutakuwa na mpango kamili ile tunaita universal health coverage ambayo tutaanzia mambo ya matibabu katika vijiji tumekubaliana na county government zote za Kenya ikiwemo yenu ya Bungoma ya kwamba tutakuwa na community health promoters elfu mia moja Kenya watalipwa na serikali ya county na serikali ya national pamoja nita launch hiyo program siku ya mashujaa tumepanga equipment zote zimepangwa na waziri wetu wa afya mama na kumicha yuko hapa tumepanga hiyo kazi yote because we want to make health truly affordable and we want to make health not a preserve for a few who can afford lakini pia tunataka kuhakikisha kwamba kila mwananchi 
anafikiwa na matibabu, anafikiwa na madawa na pia kuna madaktari wa kutosha wa kuweza kushughulika na afya ya wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya. Nataka niseme nikiwa hapa Bungoma. Universal health coverage tumejaribu karibu mara mbili na haijafaulu. Mheshimiwa Rais Kibaki alijaribu haiku enda vizuri. Serikali yetu ya Jubilee ilijaribu hapo lakini Hanshek na BBI na Kizirani ikakuwa mingi ikapotea. Safari hii tumeikalia chini. Mimi nimefanya mikutano na huyu na kumicha karibu ishirini tukipanga hii kitu because this time round we must get it right. Na mimi na furai ya kwamba nimeshaongea na leader wa majority na kamati nimeongea na wewe unajua bukose wewe ndio chairman ya health committee I have talked to you you know the plan we have sasa miswada iko bunge na mimi nataka niulize wa bunge miswada ya kubadilisha mambo ya health ili tushukishe bei ya wananchi wa kawaida wananchi wa kawaida saa hizi wanalipa tano kila mwezi kwa NHIF niliwaahidi tutaleta chini ikuje shilingi tatu hapo chini kwa wananchi wa kawaida na vile vile tuhakikishe kwamba wale ambao hawawezi kulipa hiyo tatu pia tuko na mpango ya social health ambayo itawashughulikia kupata matibabu bila ya kulipa na sisi ambayo tuko na mshahara kubwa tutalipa kiasi yetu kwa sababu everybody must uh, pay in accordance with their income tuweze kupeleka mambo ya afya ifike kwa kila kijiji wale community health promoters tutawapatia vifaa ya kupima mambo ya afya ya wananchi kijijini kila community health promoter atakuwa anashughulikia family mia moja hapo ni mtu mnamjua hapo kwa village anakuja anapima pressure anakuja anapima eh, eh, sukari anaangalia wewe kama uko na homa hii makasama kidogo anakupatia piriton mambo inaishia hapo hakuna haja ya kwenda kusumbua na hospitali tunapanga hii maneno kuanzia kijiji na mimi nataka nishukuru county governments kwa sababu tuna ni washirika wetu wa wa, eh, eh, wa karibu they are actually our primary kwa sababu mambo ya health iko devolved but we want to support our counties so that we can deliver on health because health is a priority for the Republic of Kenya. Na nimefurahi sana wakati nimeona mjengo county government ya ka, uh, Bungoma wametengeneza hapa. Na nimekubaliana na governor wenu ya kwamba tutamsaidia kuweka equipment kwa hiyo facility ambayo wamejenga hapo. Tayari wameongea na waziri wangu na watapanga vile tutahakikisha kwamba we have facilities that will serve the people of Kenya. Jana nilikuwa Busia pia katika hospitali ya pale tulikuwa tuna handover hospitali ambayo tulikuwa tumewajengea na vile vile tumekubaliana na governor Otuoma vile tutaendesha hiyo maneno. So we are truly committed to the transformation of our country and we are going to work with everybody. Tutafanya kazi na viongozi wote bila ya kujali mirengo, bila ya kujali ni sehemu gani kwa sababu nchi ya Kenya ni taifa letu sisi wote and we must work together towards taking Kenya forward kesho mimi nitakuwa hapa kwa sababu ya mambo ya eh, county aggregation and industrial park maendeleo ya sehemu hii tunaanzisha county aggregation and industrial park soko kubwa ambayo tunajenga hapa county government ya eh, Bungoma wametupatia milioni miambili hamsini tumewapatia milioni miambili hamsini isipotosha nitaongeza mpaka tuwe na aggregation hapa mahali tutaweka cold rooms mahali tutaweka storage tutapanga common user facilities ya value addition ya agro processing ya manufacturing ndio mazao ya wakulima ikitoka bungoma inajulikana imetoka bungoma iko na muhuri ya kusema produce of Bungoma County alafu inauzwa kwa maduka katika Kenya na nchi zingine that is the transformation we want to have 
kwa sababu tulikubaliana kilimo tutatumia kilimo kubadilisha uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya mimi nafurahi ya kwamba kesho tunaanzisha hiyo mjengo tumetafuta kandarasi amepatikana na tutajenga sehemu ile and apart from that county aggregation industrial park ili ku support market infrastructure ya mambo yetu ya kilimo pia tunajenga soko zingine kumi hapa 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 Bungoma hapa Bugembe tutajenga soko ingine kubwa hapo Bugembe pale eh, webuye mnajua pale inahitaji soko wananchi pale kina mama nimetembea hapo webuye wanahangaika barabarani pale tunajenga soko ingine kubwa pale webuye tunajenga soko ingine kubwa nilisimama pale Naitiri wakati wa campaign ilikuwa ni kiwanja hapo haina mpango sasa tutaweka pesa hapo ya kujenga soko na ni tayari tumetangaza kandarasi ya kujenga soko na itiri tunajenga soko ingine cheptais kwa sababu tumekubaliana tunajenga hiyo soko pale soko ingine kubwa tunajenga chwele wale watu wa chwele ni watu wazuri sana e, na huyo mulongo yuko hapo you know so tunajenga soko kubwa hapo chwele nimeshakubaliana na huyu e, mbunge wenu kwamba hiyo mahali ni mahali ya muhuri kubwa ya supporters wetu so we are going to build another big market in chwele tunajenga soko ingine malakisi kwa ndugu yangu malakisi pale tunajenga soko ingine kubwa hapo malakisi alafu tunajenga soko ingine kubwa hapa mateka hapa mateka we are also building another market in mateka alafu sasa hapa town hapa ile makali alisema makali alisema tunakujanga hapa kwa soko tunaongea ongea alafu tunaenda tukiandanga mimi nataka niwaambie watu wa hapo soko ya eh, eh che, chepkube eh, lakini chepkube ilikuwa na biashara gani chepkube Nasikia ilikuwa soko ya magendo. Siku ilikuwa na wimbo ila inasikia. <laughs> Sasa ni bado hiyo ya magendo ama imekuwa <laughs> Ama ile nyingine ilikuwa mahali nyingine. <laughs> Lakini mimi naona hata hiyo pia ilifungwa. So soko yenu hapa ya Chepkube vile vile nimeambia wa, eh, wizara ambaye inahusikana na housing wafanye kazi na governor wetu so that they design a big market tujenge hapo ndio wafanye biashara wetu wawache kuangaika barabarani so that we can have a, 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 a big market there na nia yetu katika kujenga hizi soko zote is to provide market infrastructure kwa sababu tulikubaliana ile biashara mama mboga anafanya pia ni biashara ya muhimu na hakuna vile hiyo biashara itaendelea kufanyika barabarani mahali hakuna usafi hakuna maji hakuna stima hakuna chochote so that's why tunasema na mtatueleza tukisonga songa kama kuna sehemu zingine zimebakia we will continue to work with the county so that we can identify other areas that we can have market infrastructure to support our farm pro, uh, produce and to support our economy especially in the agricultural sector vile vile katika hiyo mpango Uh, nishamwambia county government ya hapa hapa bungoma inajulikana ni mahali ya wakulima ama kuzali wafugaji wa ngombe ya maziwa mimi sitaki bungoma irudi nyuma ilijulikana hapa bungoma ni mahali ambapo ya kuzalisha uh, uh, ufugaji wa maziwa si ni kweli kwa hivyo tutakubaliana hivi karibuni ile bei ya sawasawa ambayo itafikia mkulima. Saa hizi iko maneno maneno hapo. Si ndio? So tunataka tukubaliane shilingi ngapi mkulima atalipwa kwa maziwa. Kama ni shilingi ya msini kwa lita moja ama shilingi ya msini tano ama itafika shilingi ngapi we need to agree. Already nime commission watu wanafanya hiyo kazi. Ili tuhakikishe kwamba ninyi kama wakulima muna tusaidia kuzalisha maziwa katika taifa letu la Kenya. Kwa sasa tunatumia pesa ya Kenya kuagiza maziwa karibu lita bilioni moja zinaagizwa zinakuja Kenya. Ngombe ya watu wengine. 
na sisi tuko na uwezo ya kufanya hiyo kazi na wizara ya, ya kilimo pia itawasaidia kwa mambo ya mbegu ile sex semen ambayo mmekuwa mkinunua shilingi 1015 sijui 1012 tunataka kupunguza bei kuje 2000 ama 3000 hapo ndio msisumbuke kutafuta ndume kwa sababu unajua ndume saa zingine kupatikana ni shida unaenda kwa jirani unajaribu kumwambia oh huko ngombe hapa tunisaidie ndume anasema ndume iko busy sasa <laughs> nashaka kwani hii ndume iko kazi yake ingine iko ama so ndio muzizumbuane na jirani akwambia ati ndume iko busy sasa tuko na mpango kamili na ile seme nyingine tumepunguza bei yake mpaka shilingi eh, shilingi mbili ukitaka eh, eh, seme ya kawaida na tutakubaliana na county vile watafanya hiyo kazi kazi yetu ni kupunguza kutoka mahali natoka tuko na bull station hapa Kitale tuko na bull station nyingine tunaongeza kule Kabete ndio tuhakikisha kwamba we produce enough semen for our livestock ngombe ya nyama ngombe ya maziwa na tuhakikisha kwamba tunasonga mbele kwa pamoja nataka ni seme tena nirudie nikiwa bungoma hatutaki kuendelea kuagiza maziwa kutoka nje tunataka wakulima wa maziwa wa bungoma warudi kwa kazi na tutawapatia bei ya sawa sawa ya maziwa yenu tumekubaliana Juzi katika hii budget nimeambia wabunge watoe ushuru kwa zile eh, by products ama zile raw materials ya eh, animal feed. Tumetoa ushuru ndio tupunguze gharama ya kulisha ngombe zetu. Tumeondoa hizo ushuru. I want to thank members of parliament they approved ya kwamba tuotoe ushuru kwa raw materials ya kuzalisha chakula ya mifugo yetu iwe ni ya kuku iwe ni ya eh, eh, ngombe iwe ni ya mifugo mengine yote so that we can also begin to develop our agricultural sector vile vile nataka ni semen ikiwa hapa kufuatana na hiyo barabara apart from the semen apart from the good prices we are going to uh, uh, tutalete pia kabla ya december bwana governor upange na county assembly tutawapatia milk coolers 25 ya bungoma ya kukusanya maziwa tuko na mpango na serikali ya Poland tutaleta hizo milk coolers hapa Bungoma ndio muweze kukusanya maziwa yenu because milk is going to be bought going into the future in accordance with uh, uh, quality of milk maziwa itakikani kukaa sana kabla ijakuwa ija chilled ikiangaika barabarani for 2 3 hours inaanza kuharibika so again mutatuambia which areas are we going to have these milk coolers ndio to support wakulima wa hapa Bungoma vile vile ni vizuri ni seme nikiwa Bungoma nyinyi vile vile ni county ambayo mnatusaidia kuzalisha chakula katika Kenya na mimi nataka niwapongeze wakulima wa Bungoma wakulima wa Bungoma walikuwa namba ine Kenya kwa kutumia mbolea ya serikali ambayo tulipunguza gharama yake. Wakulima zaidi ya uh, tulipatiana hapa magunia karibu 1300 ambayo ilifikia wakulima. Lakini wakulima wote hawakupata. Mimi nataka wakulima mchikazi. Amuwezi kuendelea kutumia mfuko moja kwa eka mbili hapana ama mfuko moja kwa eka moja hapana. Tunataka tuongeze ili mupate magunia 2530 kwa sababu hapa Bungoma we can actually get 30 bags between 30 and 40 bags per acre katika Bungoma hapa lakini lazima mutumie magunia mawili ya kupanda na gunia mbili ya top dressing na tuzapata 30 35 bags sio kama tunaelewana kazi yangu itakuwa ni kuhakikisha kwamba tumelete mbolea na tumepunguza gharama hapa Bungoma my target nataka mnisikize vizuri target ya bungoma for next season from 300,000 nataka 700,000 bags zitakuja hapa bungoma na tumekubaliana na makelo governor wenu ya kwamba atasisukuma ifike karibu na wakulima ile ya naitiri ipatikane naitiri si ndio ile ya chwele ipatikane chwele ile ingine ya huku eh, mungatsi ipelekwe mungatsi sio kama tunaelewana 
na dunia hiyo yote tusambaze ifike almost every part na tumekubaliana hivyo eh, kakamega tumekubaliana na otuoma vile itafanyika kule busia tumekubaliana na otijilo how is going to happen in vihiga so that we can grow enough food ni mambo ya aibu jameni ya yeah, kwamba miaka hamsini baada ya uhuru bado tunaagiza chakula na tunaagiza chakula ya nusu eh, trilioni 500 million dollars is the money we spend to import food which we can grow locally so mnaona hapo iko iko kasoro so lazima turekebishe so na waomba wakulima wa hapa eh, bungoma vile na waomba wa Transoia wa eh, Kakamega eh, I must congratulate the farmers in Wasingishu and Transoia Transoia na Wasingishu ndio zilikuwa county number one ya kutumia fertilizer na watu wanatulazalishia chakula ya kutosha followed by Nakuru county na Bungoma so that the four counties yenye ziko mbele so tutashirikiana namna hiyo so hiyo mpango yote please tutashirikiana na county lakini nyinyi mkuwe mstari ya mbele that is how we are going to change Kenya Kenya haiwezi kubadilishwa na siasa ya barabara you know gharama ya chakula haiwezi kupungua kwa ile mtindo wenzetu wanasema we are going to eliminate the shame of hunger in Kenya by increasing our production and our productivity and it is through supporting farmers to be able to produce more so tutaendelea namna hiyo na tutashirikiana hivyo eh, wakulima wengi kwa sasa kwa mfano wa mahindi wanapata ekari eh, eh, magunia saba, nane hapo tunaweza kutoa 30 bags if we do it well vile vile nimeamurisha shirika la agricultural finance corporation ambayo iko na ofisi hapa eh, bungoma tunawapatia pesa bilioni kumi ya kusaidia hao wakulima katika seasonal credit waweze kununua mbolea so wale muna mko na mpango mnaweza kupata kama huna pesa ya kutosha ya kununua mbolea serikali tutakupatia nafasi ya kukopa hiyo pesa ili uweze we increase our productivity na tutakungoja pale ukiuza mahindi yako utalipa ala kwani mlikuwa mnafikiria adhini ya bure hakuna uh, hakuna ya bure so tutakutana mbele huko tutalipana tuta tukisonga si ndio so uh, tunataka tushirikiane hivyo vile vile um, maneno yale mengine yote ni kama vile viongozi wenzangu wamesema um, hapa bungoma vile vile nataka niseme katika hii uwanja hii uwanja mnajua ilikuwa ni uwanja wa ndege lakini sasa imekuwa ndani ya mji na haiwezi kuendelea kuwa kiwanja ya ndege. Tumekubaliana na hawa viongozi ya kwamba ndege kiwanja tutahamisha iende pale Matulo. Ama ni wapi? E, matulo hapa chini. Matulo si mbali 15 minutes umefika. Ama nime gani? So kiwanja tunapeleka Matulo. Mimi nataka governor wetu anisaidie enda uongeze 30 acres ijaye eka mia moja na ufence. Ukifence na uongeze 30 acres mi hii na sarenda tunafanya inakuwa town tunapanga maendeleo ya bungoma hapa expansion ya city na tutasaidiana kwa kuplan hapa i plan mzuri na tuweke housing na tuweke mambo mzuri wananchi wafaidike na huu uwanja watu wa bungoma tunaelewana tunaelewana hii uh, airport is a decommission alafu we will assist the county to plan to replan this space so that we can use it for the expansion of Bungoma city iwe sasa inasonga songa ikielekea eh, hatua ya kwenda mbele tumeelewana alafu kazi zile zingine ambazo tumekubaliana ni mambo ya kilimo pia ya mambo ya sukari najua watu wa sehemu hii wanataka kujua na maneno nilisema hapa ni maneno itafanyika mimi niliwaambia mambo matatu niliwaambia number one hakuna privatization ambaye shamba yenu itapatiana kwa mtu mwingine hiyo haitafanyika 
and I will make sure that there will be no privatization that leads uh, to ancestral land, land ya watu haba bungoma kupatiwa mutu fulani. Hiyo ni number one. Number two, niliwaambia tutafanya mpango kama serikali tuondoe madeni. Madeni ya sugar companies yetu tano ya serikali ni bilioni miyamoja kumi na saba. 117 billion. Na ndiyo imekuwa kizuizi kikubwa ya investment yoyote katika kampuni zetu hizi. Kwanza ya hapa nzoya ni nusu ya hiyo deni. It is 50 something billion. 53 billion ndiyo ya nzoya. So nimepitisha kwenye baraza la mawaziri deputy president akisimamia musalia wakiwa pamoja tumepitisha katika baraza la mawaziri ya kwamba hiyo madeni yote ifutiliwe mbali tumefikisha maneno sasa kwa papa wa Roma na ishungwa hapa na wabunge wetu hapa muharakishe hiyo maneno tufutilie mbali ndio ni songeshe twende awamu ya pili tukishamaliza kufutilia mbali hiyo madeni awamu yetu ya tatu sasa ni mpango na tuko na mpango kamili ya kuhakikisha kwamba tutaweka pesa ya serikali kufanya ile crop production ya pale kwa nuclear state nyinyi mtaendesha ingine huko haya mashambani na tutawasaidia i am going to commit public resources for cane development to make sure that we develop cane at least awamu ya kwanza namba ya pili zile uh, factories ambazo ni kuku hiyo factory ni ya 1920 tutahakikisha kwamba tutaweka pesa ya serikali together with the formula we will have katika kuweka machine mpya ya kusaga eh, miwa hapo lakini hatuwezi kuendesha hiyo mambo kama serikali we have to agree serikali hatuna hatuwezi kuendesha biashara tumejaribu mara tunaleta milioni 500 inazama tunaleta bilioni moja, inazama Tunaleta ingine si unajua sasa hiyo ni waswahili wanasema ama ni watu wa Kiingereza wanasema doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results is madness. Yaani kufanya kitu unafanya unarudia na unangojea maoni ma, matokeo tofauti matokeo ni yale yale hiyo ni kuwa mjinga na kuwa wazimu. Na sisi bwana watu wazimu. So tunataka formula ambayo italete serikali na private sector tufanye pamoja ili kampuni ya Nzoia iweze kujisimamia na iweze ku, eh, kuwa biashara ambayo itafaidi wakulima na ifaidi taifa letu la Kenya. Na the formula is not very difficult. Si tuko na kampuni ya West Kenya hapo. Si tuko na kampuni ya Butali. Si tuko na kampuni ya Kibos. Mumesikia wako na madeni. How can the private mills be functioning profitably na mills ya serikali iko kwa madeni there must be a management issue so we will sort that out and we will agree on the formula that will take us forward company yetu ya Nzoia hapa company ya Mumias ile ya Sony ile ya Miwani ile ya Mohoroni ile ya Chemelil hizo kampuni zote tutahakikisha kwamba tumezipangia vizuri and i want to promise you This is the government that will sort out this sugar problem in this region because we have made a decision that we must do it. Tunaelewana jameni? Kwa hivyo mimi msikue na wasiwasi. Niko hapo chonjo kabisa nitahakikisha hiki kitu ikatakaa chonjo. Na wakora wote wako katikati msikue na wasiwasi ati kuna mtu atakuja kutuongelesha Kiingereza hapa sijui muindi fulani sijui nani mnani hapana hiyo haiwezekani. Sijui mwingine ananiambia rai rai nani? Eh hapana hiyo haiwezekani. Yeah, hiyo no. Hii ni mali ya wananchi na hatuwezi kukubali mtu ambaye ata take advantage of people in this region. Nobody is going to take advantage of anybody. The government of Kenya is going to make sure that the right thing happens. Because we have a duty to ensure that we protect public interest and we work for the people of Kenya. We don't work for business people. We work for the people of Kenya. Sio kama tunaelewana jameni. Tumekubaliana? So, hiyo mambo yote nimesema ndio mpango yetu ya kupeleka taifa letu la Kenya mbele 
na mimi nataka ni wahakikishie watu wa Bungoma na watu wa Western ya kwamba hii mpango tutaketi chini na hawa wabunge wenu na viongozi wenu unajua saa zingine kufanya maamuzi magumu watu wengi hawawezani awa nayo ndio unaona saa zingine tunafika mahali iko makelele ni ile tu kama hospitali unajua ukienda hospitali matibabu saa zingine unapatiwa sindano lazima unapiga nduru kidogo lakini ndio kupona si ndio eh na dawa saa zingine kumeza dawa ni kuteremuka kwa kwa nini ni ngumu lakini ikishafika kwa tumbo si ndio hiyo ndio ndio inakuwa ni kupona so tutapangana namna hivyo and we are going to work together in that manner so asanteni sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa nyumbani mimi nataka niwaambie kwamba tuko tayari kabisa kushirikiana na viongozi wenu mimi nashukuru rafiki yangu Moses Wetangula nashukuru rafiki yangu eh, Omwami Musali Mudavadi na viongozi hawa wote magovernors wetu na wabunge wetu na viongozi wale wengine wote kwa kukubali tuunganishe Kenya hii na tupeleke eh, taifa letu la Kenya mbele wale ndugu zetu wa upinzani tunataka waendeshe mambo ya upinzani kulingana na sheria ya Kenya we have absolutely no problem with our brothers in the opposition they have a constitutional responsibility to discharge na hata nimesema nitawasaidia hawa mawaziri sasa nime, tumebadilisha uh, standing orders waende bunge wajibu maswali huko bunge wananchi ama wananchi wa kutumia wale e, wabunge wenu mmewachagua watauliza hao maswali watajibu nimesema vile vile kama wanataka tutengeneze ofisi ya leader of opposition kule bunge niko tayari to fund na serikali ya Kenya hawa yanatoa statement kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni hii serikali imekosa hapa hii serikali haijafanya hii hii serikali imekosa pale mimi sina problem ama ni magani si ndio si akisema mahali e, nimekosa na ninaona kweli kuna makosa zinarekebisha si ndio hiyo ni kusonga mbele so i have no issue so tusukumane namna hiyo ndio tupeleke taifa letu la Kenya ile tumekataa na hiyo sitakubali kwa vyo vyote ni fujo na vita na kuharibu mali na kuchoma mali ya umma na kuharibu biashara ya wananchi na kulete uhasama katika taifa letu na kusabotage economy ya Kenya that is not acceptable it is unpatriotic it is undemocratic it is again it is illegal it is unconstitutional it is against the rule of law so we must all agree tuishi ndani ya sheria na tupeleke taifa letu la Kenya mbele asanteni sana maskofu kwa kutuombea tutarudi bungoma tena na tena oriomuno nyasaa ya mulinde asante sana mbarikiwe atukio basi naomba kwa sababu tuko kanisani tutamaliza kwa maombi kwa hivyo bishop kalistas tuongoze kwa, kwa maombi ya kufunga yani benediction